Welcome back, Regal Smith here, and today I'm going to teach you part three of our DIY gift making series using essential oils. And today's topic is all things bath. We are going to talk about how to make bath salts, how to make them look a little fancier, a little bit about bath bombs, and even making luxurious bath oils that can turn your bathtub into a spa-like experience. Now, what I like about gifting bath salts is you can really customize it to the recipient. You can add oils in there that are great for relaxation, sleep, things that help rejuvenate the skin, oils that will support a healthy immune system or open the airways. Really, the options are unlimited with what you can do with the customization for each person. They're also really economical to make, which I like as well. So all you need for bath salts are, of course, Epsom salts. And I like to get the unscented Epsom salts. These are from Costco. They get a two pack that's really economical or I found the unscented ones at Walgreens sometimes. It's actually kind of hard to find the unscented. Most of them will have what they say essential oils, but oftentimes essential oils, especially here in the US, labeled as 100% pure or synthetic because there's no regulation for the purity. So I like to add my own oils and then I can customize it. So I like to do per bath about one cup of Epsom salt and about five or six drops of essential oils. And then sometimes I like to make it look even prettier and I'll talk about that in a moment. So let's do, I'm gonna do a little less than a cup because I'm gonna add a few things. Now optionally, I like to add baking soda. I like the way that it makes my skin feel in the bathtub. I like the way it helps the oils mix. So oftentimes I'll add, this is, this is about an eighth of a cup, just a couple spoonfuls. It's not really a super measure thing, but I will have the measurements written out on my blog link below for those of you who like to follow recipes. And then I like to add, if I want it to look really pretty, I'm gonna add a scoop of pink Himalayan sea salt. So I also get this from Costco and I use it in my kitchen, in my grinder, but I also like to use it in my bath salt recipes. Now making an entire bath salt recipe just with the pink Himalayan sea salt, I have found that it doesn't really, it doesn't dissolve as nicely as the Epsom salt. So I like to put a little bit in and it's more like the decoration, but it does have minerals in it because it's the Himalayan sea salt. So similar to when you go swim in the ocean, the minerals that you can get some of the nutrients and electrolytes. So just a little bit of that, just enough to kind of decorate it. You could also use dried herbs or dried flowers, which look really pretty, but personally, I don't like to do that because I don't like to scoop out the flowers or the dried herbs at the end of my bath. I don't want to feel like I'm sitting in a pot of tea and I don't want to strain it. I just want to relax. So all of this will dissolve. And then we're going to add about five to six drops of essential oils. Now for options, you have a lot of options. So three that I use frequently, especially for gifts, are either Serenity for Sleep. So it's a lavender blend. It's really relaxing. It smells like lavender, aroma, chamomile. It's gonna put you right to bed. Great to use for little kids or right before you want to go to sleep. Adaptive is a blend that is for stress, relaxation. It's a little bit more floral. It has some magnolia, neroli, copaiba, also rosemary, sweet gum, spearmint, and a few others. And this is a really nice, sweet, calming, floral smelling oil. Or if somebody has a lot of tense muscles, Aroma Touch is a great option. This will help to melt away muscle tension. It feels like a massage in a bottle. So this is an excellent one to add to your bath. I use it frequently. I also bring it when I get massages. It has cypress, peppermint, marjoram, basil, grapefruit, and lavender. If you wanna get creative, you can mix up a few other options. Another one that's really popular is frankincense alone or with anything pretty much. So frankincense is anti-aging. It supports a healthy immune system. It's earthy smelling. It has a lot of properties that help to rejuvenate the skin. So you could use that alone or combine it with lavender for extra calming or combine it with grapefruit if you want a little bit more detoxif detoxification effect or that citrus aroma, which is really uplifting to the mood. You could also combine lavender and eucalyptus. This is kind of like a spa smell. It's really fresh and clean. Or if you want one that helps to support open airways, try the Breathe Oil, which is a mix of 
laurel leaf, eucalyptus, tea tree, lemon, cardamom, ravensara, and you could even add this with a little bit of lavender. So that would be a great one to kind of open up a congested chest. It would feel great. So go ahead and mix those in. I'm going to do aroma touch. I'm going to use this later. I've been feeling a little tense in my shoulders. I've been on my computer and my phone a little more often. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is about good. So I'll add this whole cup mixture to my bath and just mix it up. And if you're gifting this to somebody, you have options. You can put it in a recycled jar. If you have a recycled jar, I keep mason jars and package them this way. You can get really creative and put them in these ornaments. So this is really a kind of pretty gift to gift. And this would go in the whole bath. Well, you dump this whole contents into the bath. You want to use the plastic though because the glass if it shatters around a tub isn't great but these are more they're functional but they're more for look so i the one thing i don't like is that they're kind of heavy so the person you give it to make sure they're not trying to pick it up by the ribbon because oh this one's staying in but sometimes they'll slip out and also this isn't an airtight seal so you really want to use it within a week or so because it's going to start to release the oils it's not going to keep them in here because it's not airtight but it sure is pretty so this is a nice option too and then another option if you are shipping these or you don't have glass you can put them in little bags i found these on amazon i'll see if i can find them again and link them in my blog but you can make a nice little label and then it's like a packet of the bath salts which is really a nice way especially if you're shipping them or if you're making these with a group of people who don't have a lot of jars so that's your option for bath salts. If you want to keep it simple, just use Epsom salts. If you want to get it a little fancier, add a scoop of baking soda and a little scoop of that pink Himalayan sea salt if you have it. Now, another option for baths, if you love bath salts, or not bath salts, bath bombs, these are so easy to make. So I've tried a lot of recipes. I've tried a lot on the internet, which are pretty much just a mixture combined with citric acid, and I always find that they get crumbly for me. Not everyone, everyone else on the internet seems to be able to make them, but I struggle with it until I found this recipe. And this recipe is based in like a coconut oil base. So it's really moisturizing, and I used it from another creator, and I do give her credit uh, in my previous video, and I'll link that up here so you can watch me make it from beginning to end in my YouTube video. And I'll also link it below in the blog about the write-up on how to make the bath salts about how to make these as well uh, i give these almost every year people love them i put lavender in here once again if you don't want to scoop out the lavender from your bathtub you can scoop it but it really does look nice they hold up really well and i'll just show you what my failed attempts look like because i have fails when i make stuff at home too so every time I make the bath salts from other recipes with just the citric acid, mine always break. It's probably just me, everybody else is fine. So I keep these, my child uses them, she loves them. They still work, uh, but these just present so nicely. And fun fact, this one I found in the bottom of my bathroom cabinet just now. It's over a year old and I found it and it's not crumbly at all. It still smells good. I'll probably add a couple more drops of oil because it's been sitting there for a while but these are really fun to make. This one is adaptive, so that calming blend. So I'll have that recipe written up for you and then that video if you wanna check it out. And then finally, if you love adding bath oils to your bath, so just a couple little scoops of, or little capfuls. So doTERRA has sold this before around the holiday season. I think it's currently available. I don't think this one is sold out yet, but you, you'll have to check. But the adaptive bath oil, you can buy it or you can make it on your own. So this says to add two to three capfuls to your bath and it has an adaptive oil. It's really calming, but it makes your skin feel so soft. So you can make, this is a four ounce bottle. You can make a four ounce bottle like this yourself. Just any type of bottle. I have some of these pretty blue ones. There's brown ones. There's clear ones. I prefer the colored uh, because it blocks the light and light will damage essential oils. But if you do a clear one, you could put like dried flowers and herbs and make it look really pretty or just get the this kind of colored one instead of the clear. And what you do is you fill this up with a carrier oil. So you could use fractionated coconut oil. You could do um, part almond oil and jojoba and coconut oil. Kind of mix up whatever your favorite carrier oils. Any carrier oil will pretty much work in the bath. 
And then for this size, I would start with 40 drops of essential oil and shake it up, put your 40 drops in, smell it and see if it smells potent enough. Some of the oils are stronger aromas than others. Some need more, some need less, but I would start with 40 in a four ounce size bottle and then increase from there if needed. You could use any of the oils I talked about, adaptive, serenity, um, balance would be a nice one. You could use frankincense, a mixture, breathe, aroma touch would be such a nice one. This would be just like a muscle melt bath and kind of have fun mixing that up and then you can make a nice little label, a little ribbon and make it look pretty if you want. You could also upcycle, I was just thinking about this earlier today. So the Yarrow Palm bottles, they come in these nice droppers already. So this is uh, an oil for hormone support and skin. It's one that I like to use on my skin daily. But when you're done with the bottle, I thought it would be so fun to make this into like a little bath oil dropper. So I'm gonna take off the label and you just use a little bit of lemon oil and peel it off and then put the lemon oil there. It'll get some of that residue off. And so this is what, probably two ounce? That's a one ounce. So I would start with 10 drops of the essential oil, fill the rest with carrier oil, and then I would probably do two droppers, maybe three droppers into my tub, and then maybe add oils as needed. So that would make a nice gift as well. So I would love to hear your experience. If you're excited to make these, if you made them before, what essential oils you like to put in your mixtures or you're going to put in your mixtures. And of course, if you wanna see the write-up, I'll have it linked below in the blog. And if you're new to doTERRA and you need doTERRA at wholesale pricing, which is 25% below retail, you can shop that as well on my website at blissmama.com. And we'll see you all next week for our final part of our DIY gift making series. Thanks for watching.